Can hear me now? Yes, Prof. Yeah, thank you, Dr. Puan. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum. Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is uh, Ahmad Ismail. Now I am the president of Malaysian Nature Society, or in short, we always call MNS, which is a dominant society, uh, nature-based society in Malaysia. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to deliver this speech in conjunction with 12 ASEAN Raptor Research and Conservation Network Virtual Symposium, or in short, we said ARRCN. Um, Dr. Richard Beregard, President of Raptor Research Foundation, Dr. Toru uh, Yamazaki, uh, President of ASEAN Raptor Research and Conservation Network, and Dr. Chong Leong Puan, the chairman of the symposium, uh, and all the participants, welcome to the 12th ARRCN Symposium on ASEAN Raptors uh, 2022. Uh, I understand that we are supposed to have in 2021 because of COVID, we move forward to 2022. Malaysia has been involved with ARRCN ever since the formation of uh, the, the, the network uh, in Japan. And from there, we follow through with many activities on Raptors. Uh, as we know, in members of MNS are very active in budding. So we have a very good team to support this uh, Raptor uh, program. Uh, for example, the Raptor Watch uh, activities in Tanjung Chuan, Malacca is one of the activities that attract local and international birders. The event is organized annually, in the second week of March, uh, and it is also in the calendar of Malacca State Government. So we are very lucky uh, the activity is recognized by uh, the governments. Uh, at least at the state level. In 2005, 2005, uh, Malaysian Nature Society had the honor to host the fourth ARRCN in, in Taiping, uh, uh, Pera, which is one of the good spots to watch raptors migration. And this year, uh, 12 Symposium is the second time that MNS have a privilege of organizing the event. So thank you for the, uh, the committee who organizes and thanks for all the support from uh, the participants and the other members. Ladies and gentlemen, as mentioned just now, COVID pandemic has forced the organizer to organize this symposium virtually. We, uh, uh, we have to be uh, far to coordinate or organize uh, sharing the information on the Raptors this year. I hope that coming years, we will uh, meet again physically and we can discuss further on the importance of Raptors, especially uh, Borneo as a very strategic uh, place in the EAF. And with this location and the climax, uh, I can see the Raptors studies in Borneo become very important. So we need to have a regular uh, raptor migration monitoring. We have to strengthen relevant network for monitoring program. Collaboration between countries are very important, especially in the region, identifying uh, important areas or sites used by migratory raptors and increase the public awareness. So this is something very important that we need to uh, enhance uh, in Malaysia. Uh, migration is a survival strategy for raptors, therefore the habitat along the flyway must be protected and their existence shows our health of the ecosystem and is as is indicator for in many aspects of environmental issues. Ladies and gentlemen, according to recent studies on the global status of raptors, about one fifth of raptors are threatened with extinction and at least half half of them are declining population. So it is very important. We need to look closely raptors in South and Southeast Asia that have been the highest diversity of raptor species as well as the greatest number of other threatened species. As we know, the human activities that were reported to be main threat to raptors, including habitat destruction, pollution, poisoning, 
hunting and the altered of environment due to climate change. <clears throat> As we know, Borneo is now very rapidly growing for the development, uh, deforestation and so on. So we need to balance up the uh, ecosystem by using maybe raptors can help us. So in this context, the symposium team, strengthening connection and collaboration in raptors conservation and research in changing environment is thus most appropriate and timely. While some raptor species are resident and some are ranged, uh, uh, some in several range countries, many others migrate uh, along flyway through multiple countries across Asia. So raptors, we know the birds migrations have no boundaries. They will migrate for their survival and we need to help them by using our technologies, the new technologies, advancing in our knowledge, collaborating between countries. I hope this uh, raptor study can be one of the important uh, studies that can help us in maintaining our environment, especially when we are talking about deforestation and the climate change. So the all uh, active researchers, you are welcome to collaborate with Malaysia Nature Society. We have a very good team of birders that can help uh, together uh, conserving raptors in our region and in the world. Thank you very much. Please enjoy this meeting and then hope we have some very fruitful uh, finding or, or result uh, after this symposium. Thank you very much.